YouTube. Man, Brandon Boston just got called out by a college SEC coach, and this is insane what he said. Stay tuned to find out what he said and why. Now, Brandon Boston coming out of high school was honestly one of the best prospects that we have seen in a while. He was one of those guys who was about 6'6", 170, could really move on the court, was an excellent guard, and who could shoot the ball. And being that he was athletic and could really dribble as well, really seemed like the heights for his career were unlimited. Everyone thought when he went to college, where he decided to go, he was going to be one of these players who really dominated the competition wherever he went. Now, of course, he was a McDonald's All-American and played at Sierra Canyon with a number of excellent players. Like I can continue to keep saying, Bronny James, Zaire Wade, Zaire Williams, Amari Bailey. Man, the list goes on of the top talent that they really had and a lot of guys that we will see in college basketball in the very near future. Now, he was in the class of 2020, was actually ranked seventh in the country and was a McDonald's All-American. Now, he was averaging around 20 points per game at Sierra Canyon, and let's just say he was impressive. And in addition, he actually played with Sharif Cooper in the EYBL circuit. And man, if you're playing with Sharif Cooper, you're going to have a good time because he's going to get you those looks, those shots. And man, he was knocking it down and was very impressive in high school. And everyone thought, man, he is going to kill in college and have an excellent NBA career, but we are still waiting to see what is really going to happen. Now, Brandon Boston, in addition, had offers from all the top programs in the country, Kentucky, Auburn, Alabama, Duke, man, really all the schools that any top tier player could have wanted to go. Brandon Boston did have those offers, but a lot of people are wondering, where is he going to go? Now, as you guys know by now, he did commit to Kentucky and man, things are looking rough at Kentucky for him. I just have to be honest here because they're not going as well as he thought they would. Now, Brandon Boston, of course, has had some games where he showed out what he's made of and really showed that he's been a leader on the court. But for the majority of the games that he's played in, I think it's that leadership role that he needs to take on and he's not taking it on right now in addition i think he's just not playing overall as well as he did in high school of course you playing against better competition is a huge factor to that and this is a whole new level you're not just playing in a high school gym at, in your hometown you're playing nationally ranked teams and a lot of really good competition but not to mention he did play excellent competition at sierra canyon too but on the other hand he's actually averaging 12 points per game four rebounds per game and two assists per game at Kentucky. And a lot of people are questioning, is this dude really ready for the NBA level game? And personally, a lot of people are saying he should stay back. Now, if a player does stay back, this can be looked at as two different ways. One, it can be looked at as a good thing because they can develop, get better that next year, and then try to see where their draft will take them, what their chances are looking like that they'll get picked early first round, late first round, second round, whatever it is. Now, on the other hand, now on the other hand, you can take the opportunity and just leave and go to the NBA. But this can really hurt you long term because one, if you go too early and you don't perform well enough, man, you are going to be out of a roster spot. At the end of the day, when you do go to that next level, man, all they care about is production. If you're not producing, man, the next guy will produce and he will outwork you. So it really takes a lot of decision making, a lot of thinking to say, OK, is, is this player really going to go to the next level or not? Now, a lot of talk and criticism has been coming toward Brandon Boston's way. And man, this is probably the worst that I've seen, but let's take a look at it. Now, an anonymous SEC coach actually stated this about Kentucky. They're struggling offensively like a lot of us. If Brandon Boston Jr. goes pro, he'll never be a great player. He's too soft, he doesn't shoot it great, he's not physical. He needs to come back another year. Wow. Now, a lot of people may look at this quote and stay and state this is just out of frustration. This coach is really just trying to rip Brandon Boston. But honestly, I think the coach saying this is being realistic about Brandon Boston's game. And you can take a look at it uh, those two ways. Now, first and foremost, Brandon Boston does have a lot that he needs to work on. At the end of the day, everyone wants to see Brandon Boston get to the NBA, perform well, and be able to keep a roster spot. That is a huge factor when you're going to the league. But if you're not performing well enough, and if people don't really see your game translate to the next level, they are going to let you know. No, and that's clearly what this coach is saying. Now, on the other hand, you could look at it that this coach is really coming after Brandon Boston and called him out. And man, I can see that on the other hand too. Brandon Boston has had a number of pretty good games where I think he can make the NBA and get drafted as of right now. But will he perform that well? I think that's very questionable just because he really hasn't been a leader for the Kentucky team. There were even times when the game was coming close to the end and he wasn't even in the game, which really shows, really makes me question how much the team really needed him on the court at that time if you're one of the best players on the team man you should be in there when there's only 
Five, 10 seconds left in the game. And when they need a shot in Brandon Boston, there were plenty of times where he would not be in during that time. Now, in addition to this, of course, the whole entire season has been up and down. Now, Terrence Clark was another player who was on the Kentucky team but got injured, so we really didn't see him get on the court as much as we wanted to. But Terrence Clark was also another top recruit who seemed like Brandon Boston had a lot of chemistry with, and those two would have been fired to see on the court more often. But honestly, Brandon Boston, personally, I think he needs to stay another year. Now, of course, it always is risky staying another year because you never know who's going to be on that Kentucky roster team next year. But I think Brandon Boston will get plenty of playing time and really be able to improve and be a consistent player so that he can make sure he does get to the next level and show what he's made of. At the end of the day, you cannot take these opportunities too early because if you do, you will not have a roster spot. Like I continue to keep saying, and that's the tough decision Brandon Boston is going to have to make. Personally, I have to agree with this coach and state that there is a lot of things that Brandon Boston does need to work on, but that is not taking away that he's still an excellent player. He does a number of things very well, and I think he can be a more consistent shooter. And if he really finds that rhythm, gets his shot a lot more consistent, and just becomes more aggressive overall, that's one of the biggest things for a lot of these top recruits. Man, a lot of them have a ton of talent. They can shoot the ball, they can play the game of basketball, but when they get to that college scene and on the court, sometimes it can be confidence as well. And aggressiveness on the court if you want to get to the nba man you're gonna to have to be aggressive take opportunities and really not let the game come to you sometimes you just have to go and get yours and that's something that i think brandon boston that aggressive mindset that he wants to kill everyone on the court is something that he's gonna to have to develop it's similar to someone like Bronny james who obviously has a lot of talent and clearly can play the game of basketball but it's not practical yet and we don't see it because he's not being the most aggressive and really taking his game and his talent towards the other team team. You can't be passive in the game of basketball, and that's something that a number of these players are going to have to improve on if they want to make sure that they hit that NBA level and can have a consistent spot on the team. Now, the number of people who really hate on Brandon Boston for his game is insane, but I think this coach is really trying to show that Brandon Boston may need to consider staying. But if he has a high enough draft stock, on the other hand, it might just be time for him to go and he can figure out out the next level. But personally, I see him staying for one more year just to develop. It's not because he doesn't have a lot of skill, but I think he needs to be a lot more aggressive and more consistent on the court. If he can show his teammates, the coaches, the NBA scouts that he can be more consistent on the court, man, I see no reason why. This guy doesn't get a high, high draft stock pick, man, in the next coming couple of years, maybe even next year, if he does play well enough. But you guys let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about Brandon Boston's games thus far? Do you think he has really improved and is doing well at Kentucky or needs to stay another year? Let me know in the comments down below. Below. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, get a new notification every time I upload a new video. And also join the Discord in the link down below. Make sure you join the Discord. We are all on there talking about basketball, Bronny James, Dior Johnson, man, all the top recruits. Make sure you join that Discord. Selling each and out.